Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to import images to Share Factory using a USB stick. And this is very easy to do. Let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So I have a USB stick right here, and this is a SanDisk Ultra USB 3.0 with 16 gigabytes. And before we can go ahead and transfer images over to Share Factory for my PC using a USB stick, we have to know the supported file types for Share Factory. Otherwise, the images will not show up. And the supported image format includes JPG and PNG photos. And the supported resolutions are 64 by 64 and 1280 by 720. So if you have any 1080p photos are larger, those will not work. So when you're going through like uh, Google Images or something, make sure they're 1280 by 720 or lower. Otherwise, they will not work on Sheriff. And it does support PNG photos that are transparent. And I'll load one of those up onto my Share Factory edit, and I'll show you a transparent image. And those are pretty cool. So we know the supported image format. Now let's go ahead and transfer over some images for my PC over to my PlayStation 4 using a USB stick. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into my PC right now and load up some images. So I have my USB stick in my PC right now. Let's go ahead and open up File Explorer right here and load up some images onto my USB stick. So I'm going to go down to my H drive right here, which is my USB stick. And then on your USB stick, you're going to want to create a folder called Share Factory. I already have one created right here, but if you don't already have one created, go ahead and right click into the white space right here and scroll down to new and go to folder and create a folder called Share Factory. And it has to be exactly called Share Factory like this, no space. If it's wrong, your images will not be detected and won't be able to import over to Share Factory. So once you have your folder labeled Share Factory, 100% correct, just like this, go ahead and open that folder and go ahead and make a folder called Images. Just like this, go ahead and right click into the white space again, go down to New and go to Folder and go ahead and label it Images, exactly like that. Then if you want to make a folder for music and videos, videos with an S, and these are the correct labels for them. If you do not have a correct, once again, it will not show up in ShareFact. Let's go ahead and select the image folder right now. And the folder is currently empty. Let's go down to File Explorer once again and open up File Explorer. And I have a bunch of images that I can load up onto my USB stick right now. So let's go ahead and transfer over some images to my PlayStation 4. So I got this. I'm going to transfer over this. If you want to see the properties for the image, go ahead and right click it and go down to properties. And you can see the details of the image and the dimensions right here. And this one is 225 by 225. So this one will work. So I can drop and drag it into here. If you're on Google Images, if you go to an image on the left hand corner of that image, there's going to be a small number. And this says 12 100 by 630 and that is the dimension of that photo now if it's larger than that 1280 by 720 it's not going to work on share factory so you got to find something that's smaller than that so this one right here this one will be too big if you look at that number so i can right click on the image and go to save image as then if i scroll down on the left hand side and go to my usb stick i have plugged in and go to share factory and go to images I can go ahead and save this image in here so I'm going to plug in my USB stick into my PlayStation 4 right now and then on the left hand side go all the way down to import content then scroll over to images and import images and then on the left hand side go to import from USB and select that and it's going to load up all the images on the USB stick. So I had three images that were not supported and I would have to go back and look at those images specifically. So here's all the other images on there. I'm going to go ahead and select them all. And as you can see, there's some transparent ones in here like that one. And this one. 
So I have all my images selected. I'm going to go ahead and press the square button now. And it's going to load that onto my PlayStation 4. And all these images are going to be on my PlayStation 4 right now. And when I unplug my USB stick, they will still be on my PlayStation. And I can now use these photos in my edits on ShareFactory. So I'm going to go back to the home screen here on ShareFactory and go all the way up to videos. And then go to my last project and just open up a project. And then if I go to the X button, I can go over to add overlay. And then go down to imported images on the left hand side. And here's all my imported images that I just put on here today. So here is a pointing hand. Let's go ahead and select that. As you can see, the entire background of that image is cut out. And we can go ahead and transform this image in here by making it bigger or smaller. And we can rotate it. And you can add other cool animations to your image. Like if you wanted to slide in, then you can add a middle animation, like a, have a bounce. Or at the end, you can add it maybe fade out, slide away, spin away. So you can get really creative with the images that you import and edit with ShareFact. And here is that Halo background that I imported. And it will now show up on my video edit. So importing images to ShareFactory is very easy. If this video helped you out, make sure to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. And check out some of the other amazing videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.